Hello warriors, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shion Obisheso. And today I'm going to talk about how to be organized for college. One of the problems why people struggle through any journey whatsoever is because they are not organized. We as people are not really organized and it's sad because you find out that you're doing a lot of things, but you're not doing the right things at the right time. For example, if you want to eat your breakfast and you want to get busy, you will not start cooking your dinner in the morning because you know you just quickly want to grab something to eat and focus on what you need to do. You will not have your hours, your time, your energy scattered all over the place. If you are not really organized during your university days, you will struggle with the day-to-day -day activities. It's very exhausting. Like I always say to my girls that if you're physically active, you're not doing close to somebody that is mentally active. They are always studying, you are staying at the screen, you are using your brain to do stuff. You can easily get exhausted when you don't know how to organize yourself because during your, you organizing your calendar, fixing things that you are supposed to do, you will have the time that you are supposed to take care of yourself. But if you are not really organized, you just find out that you are always busy, always busy doing irrelevant things. And at the end of the day, there will be a lot of things undone. And it's not because you're lazy or you've been sitting still all day. It's just you don't know how to do the right thing at the right time. Be organized. It's going to make your life a bit more easier. And people will be comfortable around you. Because they know you're always calm, you're on top of your game. You know exactly what you are doing. I'm going to share five habits that will keep you organized during your college terms. Number one, keep it simple. Keep everything simple. When things are simple, they are comfortable. And when things are simple, if you are occupied and you couldn't get things done, it is quite easy for other people to step in for you because the process is simple. Your room decor, your dressing, how you organize things. Make it as simple as possible. Don't be extremely over the top during your college years. Number two, develop routines. Routines are very important. Monday to Friday, you will be in the university. When you wake up on Monday morning, what do you do? In the morning, in the afternoon, what do you do? When do you, you know, do a recap on new subjects, new topics in your college? How do you go about your day-to-day -day activities? What are your routines like? You need to put them down and follow them thoroughly in order to make the journey quite easy. A lot of you will be in the university for three to four years for your degree. If you're joining further, that's doing your master's or your PhD is another year. You need to be self-disciplined and follow your routine to make the journey worthwhile and convenient. It's not going to be easy, but at least you know you're on top of your game because you know exactly what you are doing. Number three, have a place for everything and put everything in its place. It's so frustrating when sometimes you ask someone for a pen and they dig, they you know, they go everywhere, searching everywhere in their room because they don't have a place that they put their pens. You know, you should have a place for everything. Where do you keep your um, books? Where do you keep your handouts? Where do you keep this stuff? Where do you keep your other things? You know, there should be a place for everything and everything has to be in its place. You're only working on your desk to use your laptop or to use your desktop. And then at that time is the only time you have all your books open to study. When you finish doing that, there should be a place that you put your art bags, your photos, 
have a place for everything. It's quite frustrating when you're looking for an item and you have to search the whole room or search the whole house looking for that particular item. It's exhausting. So try to put things in its place. Have a place for things and put them back in their place. Number four, keep a detailed and to-do list. What do I mean by a to-do list? Apart from your calendar, sometimes you might say, oh, I'm going to study between 5 and 6, for example. So between 5 p.m. to 5.15, I'm going to look at accounting. Between 5.15 to 5.30, I'm going to look at history. Have a to-do list every day or maybe every day will be the best one that works for you. So have a to-do list so you know what you are doing next. You're not just, you know, being blown away by the wind. It makes life easier because you know the amount of energy you need to keep it for your next tax. So have a to-do list. It will really help you to, during your university um, journey. Number five, don't be a perfectionist. Just get things done and do it right to the best of your ability. I will always say to people, if you are a student that can get 70% and then you end up getting 50%, you didn't do your best. But if you are a student that normally we get 40% and you end up getting 50%, the second person actually beats your effort because you could have do you have the ability to do better. So don't be too extreme with things. Don't be a perfectionist. Don't, don't overwhelm yourself. Don't allow the journey, your emotions to overwhelm you. Get things done. Make things simple. And of course, focus on things that matters. If it doesn't matter for Monday, leave it aside. Do what matters at that particular time. With these five habits, You'll be so organized for your journey during the university days. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye, Warriors.